Good evening. <clears throat> this is Dr. Millier, Marisalam Millier, and you're with, I'm your host, an African centered science and medicine. Uh, this is for all the individuals that are taking our career class. This is a degree study. I want to go over that very quickly and we'll go to the uh, pages that you should be concerned about. Also, your books will be afforded to you upon your payment for your uh, monthly or your semester. So let's, uh, let's try to get right into it. Uh, we're going to uh, work on this screen share right now. So we're going to work on the screen share and I'm going to share with you uh, the site for the study site of the university. And then of course, we're going to go over the books. Very quickly, we're going to read a little bit about what the class should entail, what's it about. So if you just bear with me a little bit, we're going to bring you up to par in just a short period. Thank you for your attention and appreciate you for becoming a part of our study and our research and also becoming a part of the African uh, Centered Herbal uh, Medicine and Science. Because these are two programs. One is uh, concerning the history to tell a little bit about Africa and to straighten out a bunch of myths that's been uh, taught to us uh, by those that have had control over science, that have control over science publication, uh, have control over the internet, have control over the uh, airways, control over the radio waves. Uh, so um, now is the time to set it straight and so you can get some understanding. And that's the main thing, that we will get some understanding. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to uh, organize this screen to share so we can go to a few things. We're going to take our time to make sure because uh, the, the load does take some time. We're going to take our time to make sure that we are uh, given ample time for the screen share so we'll be able to get the other places, um, get to the other places with you so that you'll be able to see. Uh, what the class entails. There may be some individuals that want to take the class. Maybe some individuals that want to take it, and that's fine. That's fine if you would like to. As a matter of fact, we want you to. And the online version, you can um, practice at your own um, or study at your own pace for that this online. Now, those that come on site, then there's a schedule to keep. But for those of you that's online, um, you can study at your own pace. Now, I want to bring up uh, Imhotep University so you'll be able to see it. This is at Imhotep University, and hopefully you can see it as clear as I can. And uh, the study you're in is African-Centered Medicine and Psychiatry, Extreme class. That's African-Centered Medicine and Psychiatry, Extreme class. Let's go over what Extreme means. The E is for um, engineering. S is for science. T is for technology. The E is for economics, um, education, and mathematics. So that's it. That's it. So um, this is the curriculum in a nutshell. So you'll be learning science and medicine as it relates to us. Now, uh, this is Prince Imhotep University. Who was Prince Imhotep? We have a nice picture there, right? A very nice picture there is some of my work, right? Carvings, okay. Who was Prince Imhotep? Prince Imhotep, statuesque mass, born Imhotep, or the one who comes in peace. Late 27th century BC, so that's that's certainly before, some people use the term before Christ or before the century began, before centuries began, okay? So we, we say before centuries or before Christ, that's fine. If you wanna say either one of those, that's correct. Uh, he was an Egyptian chancellor to the Pharaoh uh, Djoser. Uh, he was the possible architect of the Dozer's Step Pyramid a high priest of the sun god Ra at Heliopolis. Heliopolis is the Greek name for uh, 
the Kemet sub saharan region. So I don't want you to get that mixed up because they are using uh, terms that are familiar with um, oppressive regimes or regimes that take over or uh, coup d'etats. Uh, when, when someone takes over, they rename something. But this is talking about uh, Kemet or what they call Egypt or Heliopolis, right? Because the Greeks are taken it over. Now, the Greeks themselves were black, but we're not going to get into that. <clears throat> Very little is known of Imhotep as a historical figure, but in the 3,000 years following his death, he gradually he was gradually glorified, glorified as and deified, or glorified as a deity, someone to be worshipped. Traditions from long after Imhotep's death treated him as a great author of the wisdom text and especially as a physician, because he was a very good physician. No text from his lifetime mentioned these capacities. No text uh, mentioned his name in the first 1,200 years following his death, apart from three short uh, contemporary um, inscriptions that established him as Chancellor Pharaoh. The first text referencing Imhotep dates uh, to the time of Amenhotep III. And that's uh, 1391 to 1353 before century. So uh, let me say this. Um, we know that there are texts uh, from um, Tambatu. There are texts from Tambatu, uh, but there are no texts that are, we are privy to, but we know that uh, the grave robbers of Africa and Egypt all the areas, all of Africa, all of the Kibilan, which is the real name of Africa, all the grave robbers have went inside the universities and, and even tried to kill people to create a lie. So, uh, and they're killing them uh, to create a lie. But they, they, there's no different. The race of people that were akin to Imhotep, uh, King Tut, and all of them are still alive today. They're still alive today. So we have no text. When I say that, I mean we have no physical text, but we know that they do have text on, on this, and we know that those kingdoms, had we been in touch with them, do have text because it's written all on the stones uh, of the pyramids, written on the stones of the uh, palaces uh, in Kemet, or if you want to say Egypt, it's written uh, all, all uh, on the walls. That history is written, so there may be no uh, papyrus text left, which that they'll let us get, but the, the uh, they do have information. We know it because it's called hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics, right? So we know it. So that is that is something that is misleading, and I want to say that. So because um, this Imhotep guy is very special to us, very special to you. So the enrollment. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm the general practitioner of African and herbal science and medicine. My name is Dr. Miller, and it is a pleasure to be talking to you. Uh, the enrollment African Center Psychiatry and Medicine esteem class. You can click on this for enrollment, right? Those of you that would like to take it, those of you that have already paid, you already know how it goes. If you have any trouble, contact us by email. You can always contact us by email. If you click on that, it'll give you uh, our contact information. OK, the esteem class enrollment form, if you own site, it's eight hundred dollars. If you online it's six hundred dollars. So it's cheaper for you to do it online. It's cheaper for you to do it online. OK, and a start enrollment date is ongoing for those that's online. For those that's offline, it's ongoing uh, because eventually you will phase two online. You could come in on site and learn what you need to learn, get your answers uh, Questions answered, but you can still do some of the study online, read the modules there too if you want. Uh, that's that's always open to anyone that's in the class. If doing online study, students are encouraged to study at one's own pace. All right, so this is what we'll be talking about. We're gonna read through some of this, just bear with me. Bear with me, we're gonna read through it. African and African American studies syllabus. Early African births and sightings of Albinus Africanus, 10.7.3 million, excuse me, 10 through 7.3 million years. Early African pairing system integration of Albinus and Onyx Africanus to cure, erase al albinism. 
uh, 10 million to 7.3 million years. The arrival of the mass production of the black, brown, red, yellow mulatta. Early African spiritual system. Early African kingdoms. Establishment of countries and continents. Africa's Stone Age. Africa's Copper Age. Africa's Bronze Age. Africa's Iron Age. Hunter and gathering communities, nomadic versus pastoral societies, homestead and agricultural. Cultural separation, cultural integration, cultural separation, cultural integration it happened in that order. The rise of white mulatto Greek state, right? It's important to say mulatto because there's, there's uh, literally there was no nothing white then, but we can say phases. We can say what was created in phases as the different colors that were all African began to uh, mate and spread. And, and cross gene, then you were producing a mulatta, and then eventually produced the white. So that's why the, the, we say the term white doesn't exist because it's not a humanic color. It's not a humanic color. It's not a manic color. So it doesn't exist, right? It doesn't exist. The pink people and they are pale people, but there's no such thing as white. So the rise of the white mulatta Greek state, the first arrival, return of the European to Africa. Alexandre, Greco-Roman African political integration system, failure of the political integration, fall of Greece, rise of white mulatta, Roman Greco state, trouble in Libya and Carthage, rise of Spartacus, the Platonic War, should have said the Punic War, Platonic and the Punic, we should say the Punic War right there. The African Roman Greco antiquities, post-war integration, Roman Greco political integration system, failure of post-war integration of Africa and Europe, establishment of independent African villages, establishment of independent African villages, uh, interdependent African villages. Then you have those that are taking the direct class, there's a break for you uh, in August or September. If you're doing online study, you're encouraged to study at your own pace. Uh, the second arrival of the European to Africa, information will be thoroughly covered. The second arrival of the European to Africa, the European study and integration of Kemet, now Egypt, the European study of African mathematics, science, architecture, including African invention, the rise of white mulatto Arab caliphate, uh, African Arab social and religious integration, failure of African Arab social and religious integration, African Arab wars, European study of Pan-African culture, Pan-African spiritualism, Pan-African civilization. The manipulation of Pan-African spiritualism to make European religion relevant. The European slave trade and Roman Catholic Church. Who is Pope Julius II? Okay, then you come to the third arrival of the European. So I'm doing online the study is encouraged to study at your own pace. The third Arrival of the European to Africa, information will be thoroughly covered. The third arrival of the European to Africa, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. The European slave trade, the white Jewish capitalist bank, European wars, and division uh, Africa, the division Africa, slave trade, and the line of homo sapien, Darwinism. The doctrine of pre-eugenics, doctrine of superiority and inferiority. The religious doctrine of superiority and inferiority. The doctrine of white supremacy. Okay, then those that are doing on site, break from December the 1st to January, December the 15th to January. And if, if doing online, students are encouraged to study at your own pace. The fourth arrival of the European to Africa and slave voyage to the Americas. Information will be thoroughly covered. The study of Africa and the North Atlantic slave trade. The North Atlantic slave trade, Africa and the Americas, the rise and fall of France and the North Atlantic slave trade, the North Atlantic slave treaty. What is the Haitian rebellion? Why is it significant? What is the importance of the Haitian rebellion of 1793? Who was Jean Jacques Dessalines? History of the North Atlantic slave trade, 1393 to current date. What is the goal of European colonialism? What was the goal of British American colonialism? Who was John Brown? Who was Nat Turner? Who, what was the significance of the Civil War? 
what was the Emancipation Proclamation? Who was Bishop Richard Allen? Who was Marcus Mosiah Garvey? What is the Garveyite Institutional Baptist Church? Who was Dr. E.C. Morris? Who was Bishop Charles Harrison Mason? Who was uh, Noble Drew Ali? Who was the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Who was Sister Clara Muhammad? Who was Minister Malcolm X? Who was Sister Dr. Betty Shabazz? What is the Malcolm X Center? Who was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? Who was Dr. Coretta Scott King? The King Center. Who was Minister Albert B. Cleage? Who was Louis X. Farrakhan? Who was Huey P. Newton? Who was Minister Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad? Who was Pastor Samuel Rogers? What is the Manic Aggressive Personality Disorder? What is the Negro Act of 1740? What is the uh, 20 Negro Law? And who was Mary Frances Coley? So we got to learn all of that. And uh, so then you come down to uh, March 5th, right? If you're doing it on schedule. If you're not, you're doing it online. You do it at your own pace. March 5th, MOTEP, African Center of Psychiatry and Medicine. A Book of Herbs, one for the beginner. Now, it's important for you to know that if you begin to take the herbal side of that class, you will come in front of me to be trained and you will show me that you could create hard pills. You will show me that. You will show me that. You will have to make the mixture and all of that. You will have to show me. Uh, let's go over this. Uh, for the African born in America, exile, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder, stress, insomnia, schizophrenia, bipolar, and agoraphobia are among the most common mental health disorders that are a major cause of disability throughout the African diaspora. According to the Food and Drug Administration, herbal medicines are receiving surmountable play amid the World Health Organization. Due to the practice of Africa's influential herbal medicine practices, or AIHMPs in America and around the world, Black regions maintain rural traditions and are among the most extensively studied areas globally regarding herbal and medicinal plant uses. The current review and over aims to bring light to the use of untampered, organic, cultivated plants specified as sedatives, for instance, the insomnia treatment in colonial and present Italy, and to draw, postulate, sum up the available resources, literature concerning their clinical pharmacological findings, as well as the post-clinical herbal medicinal research and preclinical herbal medicinal research, observing the most cited plants. In summation, there are 106 unharassed plants that are harvested in Italy for sedative purposes, just as they have been since the enslavement of the African people by the Italians. The organic plant species extend 76 organic plant genus, 32 plants familia, of which the most exercised are the aceraceous, 25.5%, the lemonade 22.2%, leaves, 50%, flowers, 30%, are the plant genera commonly processed infusively 70%, and the herbal med medicinal preparation 25%. Out of 106 taxa or plants recorded, particularly the most noted are observed in the panoramic scope. A. Arvensis, L. C. Napeta, L. C. Monogaina, Jacques, H. Lapulus, L. L. Nobilis, L. L. Augustifolia, Mill, M. Silvestris, L. M. Camomilla, L. M. Aphelieslis, L. O. Basilicum, L. P. Rahias, L. P. Sanifera, L R officinalis L T palithilos scope and the officialis L amid the herb uh, species selected unfortunately less than have been pursued for their pharmacological properties as herbal 
med med excuse me, herbal medicinal uh, hypnotic sedatives. In the days to come, postclinical herbal medicinal research, preclinical herbal medicinal research, and clinical research altogether would be readjusted, needed to better clarify the patterns of action of bioactive compounds and to pinpoint the full abilities of herbal medicinal practice as more than just alternative therapies. This is my rendition of you, Dr. Millier, Dr. Madison Millier, President Motep, African Center of Psychiatry and Medicine. Okay, so we do have to put a disclaimer here, right? We have to do that. That's the law. So the information presented in this guide is merely research congruent with my participation and finding in the National Library of Medicine. So I want to make sure that we uh, say that. The National Library of Medicine, the National Center of Biotechnology Information, and certainly not intended to replace, diagnose, treat, prevent, cure uh, any disease or illness opposed to the FDA or Food and Drug Administration. If you're struggling with illness, please consult your physician, clinician, personal health care professional, children below the age of 18 must consult parents before viewing this guide. So we do treat, we don't treat anything beyond the FDA, what, what they say. So we, we are working with the FDA. That's very important. That's, that's, that's very, very important. You know that we're working with the FDA. We're not trying to disprove what they're doing to prove what we're doing. We're working in, um, in um, cooperation with them. And as you can see, um, they, they are pushing uh, herbal medicine. So that's important. Uh, very important. If you struggle with thoughts of suicide, uh, suicide or homicidal de ideation, dial 988 Suicide and Crisis Line. For local virtual online phone support through community mental health counseling for Arkansas, Tennessee, Georgia, Mississippi, Lexington, Kentucky, Ohio, South uh, Carolina, or Washington, D.C., dial 870-995-1964. And I'll have to update the other number. Um, the other number is 803-760-4420. And you have an update for the other number on that. All right, brothers and sisters. So, and, and my email is down there, Dr. Montesalamillier at gmail.com and clinician.psychiatrictherapy at gmail.com. Okay. So um, let's get back on the traditional medicine uh, route. Uh, you got African and African American Black Cross. You got Black Life Support. You got uh, Basic Life Support. You got BLS CPR for adult children and infant. This is what you'll be learning in um, in herbal medicine uh, beginner uh, in how to do CPR. Basic Life Support. You should know that. You can't help anyone if you don't know how to sustain life. So that's part of the training. Uh, basic life support, CPR for pregnant uh, women, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, bloodborne pathogens. You should be, you're going to be tested on all of this. You're going to be trained and tested so you can get these, uh, get that qualification. Can't go any further until you get this. Can't go any further until you get this. Bloodborne pathogens, venipuncture, phlebotomy, wound treatment, suturing, mass casualty training, Assistant pregnancy uh, doula. Somebody may get trapped and maybe on their way to the hospital and can't make it, cannot make it, and maybe at the house. What are you going to do? You need to know um, what to do till they get there, right? You need to know what they what they do. You know what to do before they get there. So you have doula training. So what is the African versus African American identity, right? We need to know that. And what is African centered psychiatry and medicine? So these things you have to know. Now, you got part uh, two of that, right? Which is Book of Herbs 2 for intermediary. All right. So very quickly, you'll be going through uh, intermediary study of African herbal science and medicine, treating stab wound, treating gunshot wound, suturing, treating pneumonia versus influenza, treating polio, treating various fevers, treating the common cold, treating... Uh, or assisted in uh, 
women who are pregnant who may not, again, can't make it to the hospital. So you'll be going over that. April the 2nd, if you're on schedule, if not online, you stay at your own pace. Okay. Uh, we have MOTEP, uh, African Center of Psychiatry and Medicine Book of Herbs. That's three. That's part three. Um, what would be covering in that? It'd be the Assistant Study of African Herbal Science of Medicine, Poison Control, Treating Poison, Treating Snake Bite, Treating Bee Sting, Treating Bird Flu, Treating Rabies. Treating HIV, AIDS virus, treating monkeypox virus, right? Uh, treating, so you'll be doing all of this, right? You'll be doing all of this. Assistant um, pregnancy. That's very important. Okay, so uh, for those that, that are on schedule, April the 16th, uh, on site, those that are online, you can do it at your own pace. Hemotep African Center Psychiatry and Medicine Book of Herbs 4. All right, so you'll be practicing Associate of African Herbal Science and Medicine, treating burn victims, treating stroke victims, treating mental illness, treating sleep disorder, treating drowning victims, treating all affliction, illness, and ailments, treating STD or venereal diseases, chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes. There's a rise in herpes. So you, if you eat these things you'll be able to do with natural uh, medicines. Uh, herpes simplex, syphilis, uh, black syphilis, assisted pregnancy. So, all, you know, all of these things. All of these things. Okay, so this is natural. All right, so it made it May the 19th for those that's on schedule graduation diplomas for African herbal science, medicine, education, and training. Associate of African Herbal Science and Medicine. So you got a little copy of the actual paper down there. You can see it real nice, right? It's real nice. So you can click on that and see it. Okay. So the rest of that doesn't matter. All right. So let's go back up. All right. So follow me over to the next place. All right. So. your book, the book that you're going to use, right? You'll see that as it was lined out that the book is going to answer it perfectly. You're not going to have to worry about anything. If you read the book, if you read the book, you're not going to have to worry about anything. All you have to do is read it. Okay. All you have to do is read it. If you read the book, you won't have to worry about anything. Nothing can go wrong if you read this book, African and African-American Studies. Nothing can go wrong if you read it, right? And listen to the module. You should be on schedule to be on schedule. So nothing, nothing should go wrong. And I just want you to know that, okay? Uh, um, and be, be confident 